Today we are looking at the new app FireChat. Let's go ahead and install it. FireChat introduces a new way to chat off the grid. Now you can chat with people around you even if there is no internet connection or mobile phone coverage. It just works as it's free. Whether you are on the beach or in the subway, at a big game or a trade show, campaign in the wild or at the concert, you can basically find friends anywhere and chat with them. So how does it work without an internet connection or how does it work with without any type of mobile coverage? The magic comes from one of the Apple's iOS 7's most advanced technologies, the multi-peer connectivity framework which FireChat is built upon. So that's they are claiming is a new era of open communications. You can follow them on Twitter. Uh, the handle is Open Garden. The features of this app is instantly message anyone around you on iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. Chat and share photos with one person or with a group. See what people are talking about everywhere. Works even without any internet connection or any type of mobile coverage. Nearby chat works within 30 feet of your location. In no password to remember. Use it at home or even when you are traveling. No significant impact on battery consumption. The Fire Chat app is designed for the new iOS 7 only. The app is approximately 4.7 MB and it's listed under social networking app. So here is the screen. Let's allow it to send notifications. So the, on the first screen you have to type your nickname that you would otherwise do on any chat room. So I'm just naming this Tusha at TXU. So let's go ahead and see. So mainly I, I see two tabs. One is everyone that is open and another one is nearby. So see as soon as I'm connected, uh, I can see messages coming in from uh, all over India. I don't know who these people are. I don't have them in contacts. But since they have also downloaded this app, we are all chatting together. So I'm just turning off a Wi-Fi and see if this works. Alright, so as you can see that it says disconnected on the top. I didn't notice it earlier. So does this work without internet? So the basically the main difference is as you can see uh, as we go on I was just testing this for the first time So yeah, so the app crashes whenever I go to settings uh, Whenever I go to nearby and go to settings or add anybody So there are no no one else is nearby. So I'm the only one talking in that tab so let's turn back Wi-Fi let's refresh that app and see if we can connect okay it's connected already So you can see there are messages just flooding in from all over. This is like an open chat or uh, old, very old age type of uh, chat room, you know. You might have used IRC or Yahoo chat rooms before. People are not able to understand what this exactly is. You can talk to anybody without having them in your contacts.
so let's initiate a conversation with someone So basically the nearby tab only works within 30 feet of your location. So the range is approximately 30 feet and it, without internet it only works if you are in nearby, you are chatting near, with nearby people. That is only within 30 feet circle. As you can see, you can attach photos, videos. I think people have just started discovering about this app and hence not a lot of people online right now or probably they have just used it and uh, got bored of it. So overall, this may not be as exciting as WhatsApp or Telegram, but this is interesting that you can have chat with any stranger or random person without actually uh, revealing anything about your identity. So what I did was I just tried asking people, do you think it works, whether it works on internet or without internet? So yeah, the people replied that no, it doesn't work that way. It only works without internet if you are using, if there are people around you, that is you are using it only for the nearby communication. Just like, basically I am this, just like uh, the airdrop feature of iOS 7. So you can actually share files and photographs uh, using your airdrop with any iOS de iOS 7 device of course you can jailbreak and get airdrop facility on iOS 6 as well but uh, that's how it works so it's pretty similar to airdrop I was very much interested in understanding how this is going to be useful through the grid without actually suppose I, I don't have a connectivity right now and I am not even and people are not even that 30 feet uh, radius so I was very really curious to understand whether this works really without the internet but I don't think that's the case here or probably there are a lot there, I mean the user base is very very less at the moment and probably that's why it's not working uh, so so I am just assuming this that if I have I don't have internet connection at my home right now but somebody else uh, in apartment nearby is having internet and using fire chat so this probably route can route my messages through his so basically he will be in my proximity and through him uh, the message will go to the actual chat room so probably that's how it's going to work we will test that later as we progress uh, let people know more about this app so probably we'll have a lot of users around it looks pretty interesting though on the concept I'm sure nobody noticed much about the new uh, feature that came with uh, Apple's iOS 7 that's called multi-peer connectivity framework. So this app is basically highlighting that feature and using it. So yeah, so everybody is on iPhone or iPad. So the, because this app uses the iOS 7 feature, so I don't think anybody on Android is available there right now.
there is also one open source real time chat which is built on firebase you can actually find it on github i am giving the link in the description so that is pretty much the same you know it's like open chat room but the file, the one i am telling you right now which is on github can be accessed from your browser itself and the fire chat app is made for itunes uh, I, ios device only which is available through itunes Also, as you can see, the fire chat app is also available. The code is also available on GitHub. I'm giving that link as well in the description. I iOS implementation of Firebase. So basically, the fire chat is based on Firebase's uh, main code and using iOS 7 feature. So they have clearly mentioned how the FireChat is a simple chat client that interfaces with Firebase's real-time scalable backend, primarily intended to be used with web applications. FireChat is intended to prototype the capabilities of creating a truly native iOS application that interfaces with Firebase's JavaScript library and service infrastructure. So yeah, so basically the iOS 7's new feature that we are talking about multiplayer, multiplayer connectivity is basically based on this Firebase and the FireChat app is based on that Firebase as well. So overall the app looks decent, probably some more things needs to be added and uh, slowly and steadily we'll see more fun coming on this app. If you like this demo, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.